video. Today I wanted to do an unboxing of my MacBook Pro laptop that I recently purchased. So a little bit of a backstory which I'm sure no one cares about but I'm gonna tell you guys anyway. I have the MacBook Air. Actually I'll get it for you guys so you can see it. So this is my current laptop. It's a MacBook Air. I've had it for probably about three or four years now. I got it when I was in college because I was in need of a new laptop and it has worked pretty well since then. Like I really liked it. It's super portable. It's super lightweight. So you can just go around, do whatever you need to do and you can carry it with no issues at all. But recently some things have happened with it. So I decided that I was in need of a new laptop. For example, as you guys can see, there's like dents on the corners. I don't even know how that happened. I think it was honestly from my case that I used. You know, you can get like a cover on your laptop. I think it dented it when I tried to take it off or I threw it and it dented it. Either one, it's not good. And then even more of the issue is the actual running or like how the computer runs. During like New Year's Eve, I was super sick. I was deathly ill in bed. Like 2020 started out so bad for me. I knew it was gonna be a really off year <laughs> when I was almost dying in bed. Somehow in my like weird like brain at the time that was very sick, I ended up spilling a whole thing, a whole thing of water onto my laptop. My laptop was soaked. It wasn't turning on at all. And at the time I didn't have money saved. I wanted to wait like a little bit more to get a new laptop. So I decided to dry it off with a fan and a towel and it actually worked. But ever since that has happened, there has been a lot of issues with my laptop. So I decided to get another one. But now that I'm starting to make videos, I did want a computer that ran well with Final Cut Pro, which I'm transitioning into editing with that. And also a computer that just ran better overall and could store more things. That's kind of the short slash long story behind why I decided to get a MacBook Pro. So today I want to unbox my MacBook Pro. I got it earlier today, they delivered it. And I didn't want to wait to make this video because I want to make it now so I can actually start editing on it. But I thought you guys might enjoy an unboxing of it. So that's what I'm going to do today. I do want to apologize for the way I look. I am burnt because I've been out in the sun like all weekend. And honestly, I'm just a little bit stressed with my job right now. So if I look tired or just not with it all the way, it's because I'm just stressed out. So please forgive that. I'm trying not to let it ruin my energy on film, but it most likely comes out on film. So I'm sorry if it kind of gets you down. All right, let's get into the video. So I have you guys a little bit further back so you can kind of see. So this is my laptop in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it, which honestly, I have no idea how. And also if you see a green sticker here, it's because um, I'm not trying to have stalkers come to my house. So yeah, my scissors and I'm going to cut it. I mean, you guys probably can't even see this. I don't have like a, a knife, which I feel like would be helpful. <sighs> I mean, I could have done this before the video, but I want to get, I want you guys to get the full experience, you know? Oh, here it is. Okay. It's here. It's really here. <gasps> oh my gosh. I just hit my light. It is. So this is the box. It has a computer on it, and then on the edge it has MacBook Pro. I'm so excited. I'm debating on whether I should take a thumbnail with the box or not, but I'm, I'm not going to. So we're gonna move on. It has a little pull tab here that you can pull to remove the plastic from the box. So I moved you guys to a little bit better angle. You probably can't see my face, but that's okay. So we're gonna pull this. Oh my God. I haven't gotten an Apple product, like a new Apple product in so long. Like, it's just 
so satisfying. It comes with a plastic film on it. There's the box. So we're gonna open it. Wow, the box is super sturdy. Box, box cover. I don't think you guys really care about that, but that's okay. <gasps> that's here it is. So it comes with a pull tab so it's easier to get the computer out and I'm going to remove the plastic it's so beautiful it's so beautiful so here's the laptop i am in love with it i did not get a usb port so i am going to have to do that because you know It'd be helpful because I can't like connect it to a printer or anything or I can't plug in my mouse which is kind of annoying but I'm gonna get that soon so this is the box after you remove the laptop from it and it just has um, obviously the charging cord and underneath this pamphlet it has the brick the charging brick to it uh, and then this is a pamphlet that comes with like every Apple product and it just has instructions on how to use it, which I feel like hopefully I've been using laptops for long enough that I would know that, but I guess you never know. And then they also have stickers for it. And that's it. That's legit. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stick the instructions and the Apple stickers back into here because I don't really need them, so we will um put that away i usually save my boxes for like electronics like this here's the laptop and i'm gonna go ahead and open it oh my gosh and here's just the little paper that it comes with so it's loading up right now and i'm so excited i know i said that like 50 times but i'm just so so excited Oh, and this is new too, like the touchpad. I don't even know what that's for. Like I've never used that. So obviously my language is gonna be English. United States. I was gonna try to connect my internet. <laughs> we'll see if this works. Yeah. You might have to skip the internet setting up part because I can't remember my password. Does this ever happen to you guys? Like you get like a new thing and then it just, doesn't work so now it's asking me about my data and privacy which how do you want to transfer your information if you have important information on another mac you can transfer it to this mac you can also transfer data uh, i'm opening the charger here because it's saying to connect to the like to actually connect it to a charger so Oh, I'm gonna charge this. Select a Mac, time machine backup, or other startup disk to transfer its information to this Mac. Make sure that the other Mac you are transferring from is connected to the same network. Agree, we're agreeing to everything. So it is currently setting up my Mac. Um, I created my account. Now it's saying express setup. The features and settings below will be set up for you, or you can customize the settings yourself. Allow maps and other apps and services like Find My and Spotlight suggestions to gather and use data to determine your location. Sure, I don't care. <laughs> Get insights about your screen time and set limits for what you want to manage. I'm just gonna set that up later. Siri helps you get things done just by asking. So they're seeing they, if I wanna enable Siri, which I'm gonna say yes. Hey Siri, hey Siri, open the documents folder. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Hey Siri, what's the weather? Hey Siri, what does the rest of my day look like? Siri's ready! I don't know what that's asking, but it's not important. So now it's saying, use your fingerprint to unlock your Mac and make purchases with Apple Pay. Start by placing your finger or thumb on Touch ID. Oh my God, what the? You guys, this like touch thing, what do you even call that, a touch pad? Is like, literally so cool it's saying lift and rest your finger on touch id repeatedly and like on the touch pad i've never seen that okay that says touch id is ready yay choose your look select an appearance and see how the doc menus 
So I like um, the white, the white border is the best. So that's what I'm gonna choose. Here at MAC automatically adapts to ambient lighting conditions to make colors appear cons consistently in different environments. Yeah, that's fine. It's setting it up, it's setting it up my bed. Ha, ha, ha. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my gosh, guys, I set it up. Here's my beautiful MAC. Everyone say hello to my MAC. So I'm gonna go ahead and see what adjustments I can make um, and like, customize and stuff like that. And I will get back to you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna add the tips and customization tips and tricks in this video, but if I don't, I will definitely have a separate one coming out because it might take me a while to figure out like what I want and all the things like that. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of my MacBook Pro. It was a lot of fun to make and I'm so excited to use it and um, have fun with it and actually edit on it. So I will talk to you guys later. Make sure to subscribe, comment. I do make videos every other week. So stay tuned for those as well. Bye guys.